So guys, welcome back to more of the Sinking City. Thank you guys, really all the support. I'm about to continue and finish case three of this game. I'm not sure how many cases there are, but this one took about two hours to finish. Uh, so really enjoying the game. I think it's really well done. I think uh, it's just you kind of do the things like you you solve the case like you want to. You can pick the, the route you want to go and everything. It's just kind of a nice surprise. So uh, thanks for all the likes, all the support on each part. And let's do this, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting close. Can't care anymore. Hold on. Oh, you know what? How many bullets can I get? Max this shit out. <laughs> Explosive. You got you get a hand grenade? I don't even think about that. I think I can pick that stuff up, maybe. This is the actual shells. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Because that's what you use to craft, so... I need all the bullets I can get. Here we go, a note. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? Hmm. What the hell was that? Do I hear that? I was gonna read this. Oh, it like went too fast. Uh, hopefully you guys could pause the video in time. Alright, newspaper issue. Going, going, gone. Body count rises. Okay. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. That's gonna be a good, uh, a good searching area. We got a whole nother lock here. <sighs> Budge. This is gonna be one of those things where you can see through it. Yep, I can hear the sound. I loved you. I always loved you. Hmm. I don't know why I have the urge to watch 1408. Just like the first 20 minutes of the movie is amazing. Alright, we haven't found the key piece yet. Impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. All right. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna. I thought the child was mine. Oh wow. <laughs> mine. <laughs> you will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. Okay, let's see what we have here. George, I, I, think I it's this don't order. care what your dad. You will Might never flash, understand we'll our see. cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. Got it, George Kevin. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. you well what are you doing here calm down the name's Charles Reed I'm a private investigator right now you look like someone who's breaking into my house a, a, a burglar I explain yourself 
Hmm. That little transition with the cutscene was unexpected, though. Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? <sighs> I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on! Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea, that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No, oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? I don't know, this guy, I, I would say he deserves to die, but... Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah, uh, perhaps not coincidentally. Ah, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. 
The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna say you deserve to die. You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Oh, no, no. You, you don't understand. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> really, dude? He attacked me, so I had to. I'm not gonna go poison a bunch of fish, cause... That was so strange. Uh, mind palace. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Anna's pregnancy was ordained. Became pregnant with a child of blessed by the sea and ordained by EOD. There we go. Okay, there's that. Okay, Anna is covering up the EOD's shady ambition to take over the city, and Anna's benefactor. Anna does honestly charity work for the people of Oakmont on behalf of EOD. Ooh, I don't know. Um, I mean, she... It is kind of a lying type thing, but... It's covered up as charity work, basically. I killed George. I, oh, that actually pops up on That's kind of cool. Now it's returning to the fish market to speak with Anna about upholding her end of the bargain. I was working with her, but I don't know if that's what I'm doing. Let me, hold on. Go back to the mind palace one more time. Poisoning was a sabotage. Okay. Poison the fish to undermine, yep. A desperate saver. Um, I would say it was kind of dangerous. I don't think, I don't know, I feel like, I think I'm going to go with this, this route right here. Because she was trying to leave him. So I don't think she was bad at all, really. Alright, I should help Anna deal with the poison and help save the city from starvation. Okay. Uh, mine palace. Go ahead and put that on there, too. That's everything. You didn't even need those two. All right, that should do it for this case. I wonder now if all I gotta do is just like leave and let me go down the steps and get out of here. Yeah, that was kind of unexpected. I, you know, I understand what he was trying to do, but at the same time, it did seem like he was just trying to almost get back. You know, like it seemed like a little bit overkill, I think, with the fish and everything. Somebody sits up making copies of keys and poisoning people. <laughs> it's like, come on. Are we going to fast travel back over... Where was she at? She hit the fish market, but there's no fast travel point. I feel like there should have been. Let's go back this way. Yeah, it, it'd be kind of cool to see the different direction other people make in this game to see what the consequences are. But here's one thing I do know. I don't know if there's multiple endings, but I do feel like the game doesn't change based on your opinions, really. Because the overall, like, the cutscenes... Uh, the monsters, you know, the whole, like, I guess the mind thing in the game where you're, like, constantly zoning in and out of consciousness. I feel like a lot of that is just, I don't know. It's just kind of, like, so unique. I feel like it's its own separate story within the story. Alright, let's go over... Yeah, let's go this way. I feel like this will conclude the third case. I'll kind of leave it up to you guys if you'd like me to keep going. O obviously, the game is a lot of fun for me to play. Uh, you guys seem to be enjoying it so far. I feel like each case kind of brings something new to the table. Uh, I feel like the overall end of the game will be with, like, Robert Throgmorton. And just figure out what all happened, you know? These, like, little cases here and there you're kind of working on are really cool. But I just want to see, like, I almost want to just sit back and watch it. But, you know, being the detective is also a lot of fun. If this was like a movie, I would be watching it right now.
I wouldn't put it down for a TV show. It'd be a wrap. I think this is the right spot. All right, yeah, here we go. Let's go talk to her. I'm not going to, because she was trying to get away from me. I felt like he was a little bit overboard. I guess to kind of keep her safe, I'll do it that way. Hi, we have enough for everyone. I found the poisoner and dealt with him. He won't be bothering you anymore. <sighs> See, bless you, Charlie. That's great news. Who was it? Well, see, now that's the interesting part. It was your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. Well, that son of a rotten shark finally got what was coming to him. Good riddance. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your grand poobah or whoever's in charge now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an inn smather there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time. Glad to see you again. Where's this basement at? Some stairs around here somewhere. And it is only fair to be afraid. Titanic forces are at work. Infinitely greater than ourselves. Unknowable. Incomprehensible. There will be sacrifice. There will be loss. There will be darkness. But these are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time. And each of us has a part to play. Seemed a little grim. I guess this city wouldn't be complete without a doomsday prophet. Let me assure you, I am anything but. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please, come to one of my full sermons. Ah, uh, Charles Reed. Good to meet you. Mm, I'm just gonna say see you then. I'll see you around. I gotta get to this basement. Where is it exactly? Hold on. Find him in the basement of the fish market. I can tell him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see like a basement. Or stairs or anything. No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, let me go around this way. There was other people I could talk to as well. I don't think it really matters. Maybe people that I would probably get evidence from, you know? She better not have me sent down here to get killed or something ridiculous. Can't carry anymore. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I did get this. Yeah, hold on. One second. This will... I need the ammo thing. Hold on. Carry seven more. I've already got that, but... I feel like this is definitely something I should get. So I'll go ahead and acquire that one. Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> Budge. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? I was double crossed. Wow. Anna had me kill, or tried to kill me. I'm going back up to get her. That's some BS. I had a feeling, man. It felt like some John Wick type shit when I got here. How do you... There we go. She's probably gone now. Guarantee you she's gone. Hey. Hey, Mr. Ree. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet. But I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a professor, though. Ain't that right? The scientists are order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. 
Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. What is this order you mentioned? Uh, yeah. You don't know, do you? EOD. It really stands for the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Dagon? An old, old being from the depths of the sea. In books, they show him as a monstrous amphibian. The ends mouthless worship him as a god. And of course, they make sacrifices to him. In blood. Well, it's not like I have options. I gotta find the scientist. Now what's the price? Believe me, I'll be glad to help you find her. But I need a little help first. Yeah, I figured. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've in England what's coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. You see, I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. Alright, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. All right, uh, report to Mr. Throgmorton. I think that is... That almost wraps up. I can owe him a favorite. Yeah, I think it's gonna wrap up the case, so I'll go over there. I hate that I have to... Like, there's... There, there has to be a fashionable point around here somewhere. Like, there just has to be. And hey, what was that over there? No? Okay. All right, let's go. We gotta go over here. Let's get on the little boat. Go talk to him, and that should wrap up the entirety of case three, I would imagine. We'll see. We shall see. Now, that was a crazy twist, so now she's gone, obviously. I got duped. <laughs> hey, goob with me. I don't know what happened there. Knocked right over my head, man. I couldn't do anything. I just was trying to, you know, do the right thing, I thought, and then I was like, making a horrible decision, you know? Yeah, we'll go up here to fast travel. That should do it. It's been on, man. It took me each case so far. Well, not each case, but this case in general. It took me about two hours of recording. I don't know how many parts that's going to be. There was something I just passed us there. Uh, but, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I feel like the game is just refreshing, if you would. All right, let's go. Where is he at? I think this is where it's at. Yep. All right, here we go. I think talking to him should wrap up the case, but I really don't know for sure. We'll go see. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy innsmouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. Are you using this as an opportunity to make an example of the innsmouthers? Because most of the EOD members I've met were locals, and for what it's worth, the only innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You want to examine your prejudice. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Kay's sake! I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. 
They had nowhere else to turn. I shall think about what you've said. Ah, back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you. All right, case complete. Got another knowledge point. Uh, go ahead and use that really quick before we get out of here. Uh, I feel like the more bullets I can carry, the better. But I don't know. I haven't, you know, I haven't got a rifle or what is that thing? Submachine gun. I need to try. You know what? I need to try out using. I need to try out using the damn uh, grenades and traps and stuff. Any crafting material that actually might be worth getting. Kind of. Okay, fathers and sons. This will be what we do if I continue with the game. Just let me know if you guys want more of it. Uh, it's been an amazing experience so far. I love just even the, the font they use for, like, the title of the case, you know? But you guys are awesome. You want more of this game, you know what to do. I'm going to stop here for now. And uh, I will catch you on the flip side, guys. Take it easy.